What if there was a way you could instantly create a blog post using a thoroughly engineered AI prompt? Get an SEO score for your post out of 100. Optimize it for search engines with guided SEO tips. Add media. And once you're satisfied, publish the results to your Shopify store with the click of a button. Well, today I'm delighted to show you a tool that does just that. Introducing Boardroom, a helpful new dashboard for Shopify brands. Okay, so I'm logged into my Boardroom account and I'm going to demo our AI-powered SEO blogging feature today. But before I do, I wanted to point out that you probably noticed that we have these metrics here on the homepage, like a sales channel breakdown, ad spend, profitability, and that sort of thing. Boardroom is an AI-powered analytics and content creation tool that's designed to help e-commerce brands save time and make data-driven decisions. So if you're not familiar with us, head to our website or our YouTube channel, and you can learn about some of our other analytics-related features. But today I'm focusing on content creation and specifically creating an SEO blog post with Boardroom. So to do that, I'm going to click this Create SEO Blog Post button right here on the homepage. And that's gonna take me to our blog post creation workflow page. On the left side of the screen, you'll notice that I've got some pre-existing posts that I created earlier, and I could take some action on those posts from here if I wanted to. But on the right side of the page, I get this short little form for creating a new blog post. And that's what I'm gonna show you today. So all you're doing is just gonna fill out some basic questions. For example, what is the topic of your article? I'm gonna write an article about AI and e-commerce. The blog post title should be something like how AI is changing e-commerce. Our primary keyword for SEO is going to be artificial intelligence. We'll enter a word count and a tone that we like the AI to use. This is important because the AI is capable of writing in so many different styles that it helps to specify. I'm going to say witty. And then we have this additional instruction text box, and this is super important and gives you the ability to really uh, ask the AI to customize this post in some way that maybe is specific to your brand. So you can ask the AI to mention your brand name. You could ask it to link to specific pages on your website or talk about particular topics in a certain order. Really get creative with this text box and you're gonna find that you get a better result from the AI if you do so. I'm gonna leave it blank for this demo just to show you a little bit more of the functionality that we have here, and I'll click Generate now. And so this usually takes about 30 seconds to a minute for the AI to generate this new post. So I'll probably you know, just pause the video here for a second and we'll pick back up once it's done. All right, and I timed it, it was a little less than 30 seconds, but over here on the left side, we do have our newly created blog post. You can see it's got some headings and great paragraphs here. Uh, my first recommendation is that you just read this, right? So I know it's tempting to just kind of want to be done with the post at this point, but it's best if you really read this and evaluate this for yourself. And actually in Boardroom, we give you an editor so that you can optimize this post as well. So I'm going to click Open SEO Editor now to show you what I'm talking about. All right, and now we can see that I got my blog post editor here on the left side of the screen where I can actually update the content that was created by the AI. But more importantly here on the right side of the screen, Boardroom gives this post an SEO score, and this is out of 100. And it also lets me know that it's kind of low right now, which should be self-explanatory. But below that, we get a series of SEO tips for how I can optimize this post. So you'll notice the green boxes are items that are uh, performing well from an SEO analysis perspective, and the empty check boxes here need to be sort of filled out or completed in order to increase my SEO score. So for example, we can see that I'm not using my keyword artificial intelligence in my title tag. So over here I have my title. Ah, I have AI in the title, but I didn't spell out the keyword that I'm trying to rank for, which is artificial intelligence. So kind of a technical SEO tip there, and it is important that that's part of my title tag if I wanna rank for that keyword. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some updates now, and I might speed up the, the video while I do that, and then I'll come back, I'll talk about what I changed, and then I'll show you how you can refresh your score 
and really optimize this post for search engines. All right, so you probably noticed that I updated the title and I also came over here to the input tab and I added a meta description for this post. And what's cool here is I can see a little preview of how this might appear in a Google search results right here. Uh, and so now that I've satisfied, I think these tips here at the top, I'm gonna click refresh score and let's see what we're looking at now. Okay, not bad. So we went from a 31 low up to a 79 medium SEO score. So just making those small technical tweaks really makes a huge difference in my SEO score. So now I'm gonna scroll down and see what else we've got here. It looks like I need to add some links to this web page and an image or two to the web page with my keywords infused into the image name and alt tag. I'll show you how that works real quick in boardroom. So let's say I wanted to add an image right here. I can just click the little image icon or insert image. I get a little place where I can add a link to my image and I've got one pre-prepared here. So I'll just add a link to my image and I'm gonna put uh, artificial intelligence here in the image title and the image uh, alternative description. I'm gonna change the width of the image a little bit here to make it a little smaller and I'll save my changes. And there we go, we've got this image here uh, embedded directly into the post. So that's pretty great. I can do the same thing with videos. I can also add links very easily here. So I'll add a link to my website. I'll save that. And again, I'll just refresh my SEO score since I've completed some of these tips here. All right, now we're cooking. SEO score is 94 and high. It looks like we have just a couple of small tips that we haven't quite satisfied yet, but no big deal. I'm pretty comfortable with a 94 as my score. Uh, and so I think I'm ready to publish this post. Now, before I do that, though, I want to just mention that what I'd really recommend that you do, because I'm just kind of doing this quickly for the sake of the video, I'd recommend that you, again, read through this post carefully. Make sure you add your own voice to it and add some customized content, right? You definitely want to make sure that if you're writing this to rank for your brand, that you have some kind of call to action in the post, right? So hopefully this is gonna help you grow your organic traffic for your website. Now, once you get those new visitors starting to roll into your website, you want them to actually take action once they get there. So you want them to learn about your brand, perhaps learn about your products and services that you're offering, and then give them an easy way that they can contact you or sign up for something or purchase a product. So I would recommend that you take your time really personalize your post and make sure that it's designed to not only get organic traffic, but actually convert that traffic once you start getting it. Okay, my spiel's over there. Let's show you that, I'm gonna show you now the next step in this little workflow, which is that you can actually publish this post directly to your Shopify store. So there's no need to copy and paste or log in directly to Shopify or anything like that. Since Boardroom is a Shopify app, we're connected via API to your Shopify store. So when you click publish to Shopify right here, you'll get a little drop down menu where you can choose the uh, store that you wanna publish this to. I have a lot of stores connected to my boardroom account. So I should mention, if you happen to operate multiple stores, you can connect them all into boardroom uh, and we don't charge you by the store. So that's a pretty nice feature. We have a lot of customers who love that, that they can connect all of the data from their different Shopify stores into one boardroom dashboard but you might only have one store and that's fine too. I'm gonna to choose one of my stores. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and upload a cover image for this as well. Okay, I chose kind of an image at random there. And now I'm going to choose publish blog. So I click that button and I get this little icon here that it was successfully published instantly. That's pretty awesome. So, okay, so I've been redirected back to the main blog post creation page and we can see that my post is marked as published. And I have a little link here where I can open this post directly in Shopify. So if I click that, I'm taken to the back end page for this blog post. I can click view and we can see this blog post that I've just created is really live on my website. So you can see how we've got this really cool end to end workflow that we've built here in boardroom. You fill out a short form, AI creates a post, we use an engineered prompt to help that happen in the most efficient way possible. 
you get an SEO editor where you can optimize your post and make it perfect and make sure that it's ready to start producing organic traffic from search engines because that's the goal of blogging for SEO. And then once you're ready, you can publish that post directly to your connected store. So I hope you think this is cool. We certainly are excited about this feature here at Boardroom and we'd love to hear what you think. You can try out this feature as a part of our free trial and there are no limits on how many blog posts that you can create. We don't charge by the blog post, which is great. So I'd encourage you just to check it out. You know, it'll cost you nothing to do so. And I think you'll really see the value as you strive to make SEO an effective part of your marketing strategy. So thanks for watching this video from Boardroom. I hope you'll try Boardroom for free today.